Welcome, this is Artemin reporting live uh, for Premier Magazine from the ISC conference in Frankfurt. And we are here with uh, Brian Watson from uh, Supermicro. Hi, uh, thanks Ed for the introduction. My name is Brian Watson, I'm the System Product Manager for Supermicro and we are a server solutions company. So today I'd like to share with you our uh, Xeon Phi X200 processor based systems, formerly codenamed Knight's Landing. So we have two systems to show you today. The first is our tower uh, development platform. So this will host a single uh, non-fabric Xeon Phi X200 processor. And it will still have the full um, PCIe lanes available. So two by 16s and then a by four and a by eight uh, mechanical slot. And also taking advantage of all of the memory channels uh, for the Xeon Phi X200 processor with its six DIMM slots, supporting up to 384 gigabytes of RAM. So this is perfect for any kind of uh, Xeon Phi developer in uh, the academic settings or anybody who wants to get their feet wet and just get started with Xeon Phi development. Um, for something a little bit uh, larger scale, we have a live demo running here on our 2U Twin Squared uh, platform. This is the 5028TKHTR. So this will support four nodes um, of KNL. Xeon Phi X200 processor in a 2U form factor. Um, and then, like with the tower system, each node supports two uh, by 16 low profile PCI 3.0 slots uh, and then six uh, DIMM slots. And so, we've uh, pulled it all together here for this demo with our 48 port uh, Omnipath edge switch, offering uh, redundant power supplies. Uh, and the ability to carry each uh, port here at 100 gigabits uh, per second. And so it's showing a molecular dynamics uh, demo. So something really we're proud to showcase all of our um, uh, Xeon Phi X200 processor based hardware as well as our Omnipath based hardware here at the show today. Mm -hmm. Can you tell a little bit about the demonstration that's currently running? Yeah, so this is a molecular dynamics. So the, the molecule that you're seeing here is being uh, rendered in real time at about 50 to 60 frames per second. So the compute is happening on the uh, Knight's Landing nodes themselves. And so we have our 1U, uh, this is based on our Ultra architecture. So that's a dual processor uh, E5 2600V4 uh, system that then starts up instances of Linux on each one of the four uh, compute nodes. And so then the image is then relayed so that data are sent over the Omnipath switch back to the head node and then sent also over Omnipath to the display node and then sent out to the 4K resolution display. So this is representing an instance of the Intel Scalable System Framework, SSF. Uh, so this is an all super micro, all Intel uh, solution that you see here. Um, this uh, individual um how do you say them, chassis. Can they also be bought by, uh, by uh, other companies, OEMs? Uh, to... uh, yeah, so we have the flexibility of customizing uh, one of these solutions per an OEM's requirements or, or an individual customer's requirements. And so um, if they need certain expansion or certain discs or add-on cards, we have the ability to support that. Thanks for this uh, part of uh, the demonstration. Yeah, well, I'd also like to show you uh, some of our upcoming uh, GPU products. So could we uh, take a walk over to the other side of our booth? Um, hi, so we're here uh, showing some of our upcoming uh, GPU products. And what I'd like to share with you today is the SYS 1028GQ TXRT. So what we've done is taken our popular 1U 4GPU system and added another board, which will then support four SXM uh, 2.0 modules. These are the, the P100 upcoming uh, Pascal architecture GPUs from NVIDIA. And so this offers excellent density. And as you notice, just like our 1U4 GPU system, there's no GPU preheat, allowing uh, an ambient inlet temperature of 35 degrees C. Um, so this looks like a, quite an impressive machine. Uh, what's it uh, typically used for? So the typical applications are anything that require mass amounts of computational uh, performance. So things we're really targeting artificial intelligence, deep learnings, and applications of that sort. And to that end, uh, the board does support uh, the NVLink technology, allowing each one of these SXM modules to communicate independently uh, without going out through the uh, PCIe. Thank you very much for this uh, interview. All right. Thank you, Ed.
Great rest of the show. For Premier Magazine, this was Atem Recording.